Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. In this video, I'll be discussing the part 2 of Remainder Theorem, which is the Euler's Theorem. In the part 1, I discussed the Fermat's Theorem, the link of which you can find in the description box. So let's begin. Now the general format of the Euler's Theorem is that whenever you're asked to find the remainder of the form a raised to 5b upon b, then the value will be 1. Now you might ask that what is phi of b? Phi of b is the Euler's quotient and it's given by b into 1 minus 1 by x into 1 minus 1 by y into 1 minus 1 by z where x, y and z are the prime factors of b. So suppose b is 16, then the prime factor of b is 2 only. Suppose b is 6, then the prime factor of 6 is 2 and 3 and so on. And one thing that you have to remember is a and b are co-prime with respect to each other. So whenever you see a remainder based question where a and b that is the numerator raised to some power and the denominator are co-prime with respect to each other, you all shall try and use the Euler's theorem. So let's look at a few examples. Now suppose you are asked to find the remainder of 7 raised to 98 upon 80. Now our first step is to check whether 7 and 80 are co-prime with respect to each other. Yes, they are. And 80 can be written as 2 raised to 4 into 5, which is the prime factorized form of 80. Hence, the prime factors of 80 are 2 and 5. So now we find the Euler's quotient, which is phi of b. And as we saw out here, phi of b is given by b into 1 minus 1 by x into 1 minus 1 by y and so on. How many ever prime factors b has, that many brackets will be here. So suppose b has two prime factors, there will be just 1 minus 1 by x and 1 minus 1 by y. Suppose there are four prime factors, there will be 1 minus 1 by x, 1 minus 1 by y, 1 minus 1 by z and suppose 1 minus 1 by p and so on. So out here, 80 has two prime factors which are 2 and 5. Hence, phi of b is equal to 80 into 1 minus 1 by 2 where 2 is one prime factor into 1 minus 1 by 5 where phi is another prime factor and this comes out to be 32. So whenever we do, we, take, we find the remainder of the format 7 raised to 32 upon 80, our answer will be 1. Similarly, 7 raised to 64 upon 80, the remainder will be 1. Similarly, 7 raised to 96 upon 80, the remainder will be 1. That means 7 raised to 32 or any multiple of 32 divided by 80 will give you the remainder 1. Hence, till 7 raised to 96 upon 80, you can get the remainder value as 1. Now we are left with 7 raised to 2 because after you have used up 7 raised to 96 from 7 raised to 98, 7 raised to 2 is left. Hence, we have to find the remainder when 7 square is divided by 80. Hence, our remainder is 49. So, I repeat what Euler's theorem is. Whenever a and b are co-prime with respect to each other, then a raised to 5b upon b is equal to 1. Where a and b, I repeat, are co-prime with respect to each other, that is their highest common factor is 1. And phi of b is given by b into 1 minus 1 by x into 1 minus 1 by y into 1 minus 1 by z and so on till how many prime factors b has where x, y and z are the prime factors of b. So that's it people. I'll be coming up with more remainder theorem videos. Till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at my upcoming videos. Thank you.